All right, I am back, and it is time to head on down into the crypt. Pretty curious about what this is going to look like. Nicholas Flamel's Crypt. Sure, I said that name wrong. But who the fuck cares? I could have stayed behind him and finished him. Alright, I think the first time one of those actually went well. I can't stand those enemies. Basically a catacomb. are obviously a bit slower. How are we to get up there? Just like that. Ooh. The deflection off. Oh my god. Spider is not messing around. jump there is loot up there I'm sure we can it's just landing on them is probably gonna be the challenge they even put this here because they know it's gonna take a lot of tries oh ah, I was there and I fell off Watch, it's gonna be like complete garbage. It's not even gonna be worth it. Come on. It's close the other time, but it fell off. Maybe if I just try the gliding. It's probably easier to control. Alright, with these it's not. We're not really going forward, I don't I feel like we do with these claws. Ah, I overdid it. Damn it. Give it a couple more tries. It's honestly probably not gonna be even worth it. Shit. I wish we'd at least grab onto it or something. Make it more doable. Oh, I was on the damn thing. I just couldn't stay on it. Alright, oof. Now we gotta stay on it, though. Alright, we can get over there, actually. Better be good. Doubt it will be. It's never good. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's one of the better essence items if you care about essence items. Which I don't. I mean, we did just use a bunch at the end of the last episode to help us level up, so they are useful. Just not really worth all that. Oh, 
Oh, I got stuck. Uh, uh. Huh. Yeah, I'm gonna end up running out of capsules with this thing. It's so, like, easy to just use it. And I didn't realize. for a goddamn carriage token. I'm excited for nothing. What do we have here? We'll go to the Twillery and follow the directions on the receipt. It also mentions the Quartier du saint Eustache and Rue Saint-Honoré. Who? Um, I guess that's it. Back to the uh, carriage. There's some new quests, but not here. So is it back to the convent, or do we have other shit? Other? Is it back to the Tuileries, actually? I'm assuming that is where we are going to be headed. Behind that gate, I think, where we saw these enemies last time. Oh, I saw that coming. Maybe we should open this up in case something goes wrong. Well, maybe we should just leave at this point. Come on, stay. Finished off his own pet. Yeah, I've seen them hit him a bunch, but I've never seen them actually finish him off like that. Oh wow, this guy's got. Oh, is that that? That looks like that might be the weapon that we found, actually. That something chain. This the uh. Strength or the power one. Should start fighting more enemies just to keep up on the capsules. Oh, we gotta get rid of the carriage though. This is not gonna help us. We did open this, right? This might take us back. All right, we're getting there. There we go.
Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, so... Yeah, now I have to go here again. Find Joseph Balasmo's workshop. And... Investigate the scene of the experiment. So I guess we should do... Oh, should we do that or should we stop back at the convent? We should probably clear all this shit out before we go back to the convent. All the time we're spending on this stuff, I feel like we could have been done with the game if we weren't doing all this stuff. But, I mean, it's fun. You always gotta do the side stuff, you know? Where is said workshop? Get out there. Okay. Did get out there from the other side? We already passed. We should have a vestal up here. Yeah. Right. We can get there from this way. Kind of backtrack. I don't know what I'm doing. There's no upgrades to be done right now. Here we go. dying in two hits for the most part. Can I get up there, though? Like That doesn't seem doable, because the angle of the jump. It's not just a... Maybe if I go up here. There we go. Yeah, that I could probably make. Scope out where we want to go before we jump down there. We have to go back up. Easier if y'all were dead. Oh! Oh no. I just fell into sewers. I don't think I want to be down here. Shit, can I get back up there? I didn't even see that hole there. I just fell right down. God damn it, this might put me off track now. There's loot down here. Maybe I haven't been here. I also feel like loot is uh, replenished in certain places. Could be wrong. Oh, well, there is this. So obviously we didn't have access to this earlier. Oh, 
Oh, it was a double, double swing. Stagger him in time. Learn my lesson by now. Anytime I think I'm gonna stagger him in time, chances are I'm not. So I pretty much never do. I feel like. I mean, I guess. This is probably like a side thing. I don't think I have to be down here to actually get to the workshop. I was just supposed to go up. Came down here completely by accident. Oh god, what now? Alright, I see a sign I'll be able to go up. Crap. Oh, I burnt out. The burnout is real. Accessible while in combat. Okay. Is it a scene? It must be a cutscene. Oh my god. Man, I wish we closed the gap a bit more with our attacks. hit you anywhere in the 360 degrees. See that window? That's where she's waiting for you. Astro guy is a real creep. Wish we got to fight. I mean, it would be an unfair fight, but it would be kind of cool to fight one of the asshole humans. Just beat the holy hell out of him. Be defenseless. There's 
There's no chance we can make that. How do we get that loot though? Oh, maybe. Not apparently. <laughs> Surprised myself over and over again. That's all it is, but yeah, I really gotta stop doubting myself on these jumps. From here, it didn't seem that far, but when you're going up, I don't know, it just seems a lot farther. Here's the workshop. This notebook appears to be a scholar as well. First, an ancient tongue is going to decipher this ancient document. Alright. Yeah, we got a few things for Abbey. See about that DLC stuff, show them that. Chest here. Oh, we got more claws. More bismuth blocks, carriage token. Let's see. This might be good. Let's see. B agility. Woohoo. Blade storm. Thousands of Oh, thousand, the thousand cut claws. I thought it almost said, I thought it, that's what they're called, but all right, these I might have to try out. See, this is why I didn't max out the other weapon because now I have other claws. Might have to try these out. So we're done on the side quests here. Back to the carriage now. Upgrade these bad boys a bit, perhaps. Give them a shot. So we're not really using the um, deflection all that much. This might make more sense. It's not waste time. We hurry, might have time to uh, get some other stuff done. In fact, we can try to upgrade them now. I won't max them right away. I have a feeling I'm gonna like them. It's basically what we have, just with a cooler skill. guys try on the way back to the carriage maybe we'll encounter some trouble All right, let's see first test well it's not much of a test no claws but we got a stealth attack All right. I don't want to waste capsules but I really want to try this Oh, I didn't Oh, wow. Cool. I didn't notice if it did much damage. It didn't seem like it. Is there a man of build up? Even if we were to max them out, I feel like they're still going to have a little bit less. Are they going to go up to S scaling? That's the question. I guess we could see. I, I didn't really look at the upgrade page. I'd have to check. 
I mean, the skill is cool. It's not overwhelming, though. It's decent. Definitely get more use out of it than I would the deflections, probably. Alright, that's just screwed up. Come on. Chill out. I wonder if I hold it in, do I get more? Yeah, it's the same. Good to finish enemies off. Get back out. Hitting dead ends here. These places are meant to be confusing, I think. Just literal maze. Come on, how do I get out? I must like jump over that. Oh, I can. What do you know? I say, it must have been broken for a reason. Alright, back to the carriage we go. Where to next? Back to Lesson Valdez. Oh boy. Assuming this will be it, and then we can go back to the comment. Investigate the scene of the experiment. Oh, is that? Didn't I break this open earlier? And I was like, why did I? The field just open to a dead end. Yeah, this was closed off earlier. I'm nearly there. Now it's opened. Track down Caliostro. Oh boy, that's our next task. Is this him, right? Or is he gonna Don't run away? Ah, that cursed dancer! May you be devoured by rust! Oh please. You know how many of these things I killed? Ow! By the way, I made a stainless steel, so I don't rust. Ow, oh, come on. Really? Just didn't finish him off? Wait. Why didn't I? It's weird. 
I thought for sure I was going to get him staggered with this. It's not building up much stagger, is it? Alright, I totally sucked at that. That was like one of the worst fights ever. Generally pretty good with those guys, but... Happen there. These guys I don't like. Switch back to these a little more extra. Oh boy. Astro, get your sleazy ass over here. Oh my god, we got two of these? Nah, nah. guy's gonna come in. And I'll take on one of them, but I'm not dealing with both of them. The sleepless slaves. They meant the automats. Feeding off the blood of innocent people. Monsieur Raymond was completely mistaken. I must inform him. Aha. So they want to use us to be a sleepless slaves. Don't know how I feel about that. I mean, if it stops actual slavery, but those are my people at the end of the day. I mean, I guess the other automats don't really, they're not like us. They don't feel and think the way we do. I think that's it here, though. I think it's back to the carriage. I think we've heard all this before. Right, let's just go back to the carriage. May as well, while we're here. God damn, how much health does that burn through? It never fails to amaze me. Alright. So now we're gonna go right back. No distractions. get over here in the first place. Come through here? I, I don't remember. Find a way back now.
don't remember how I got over here in the first place. Oh, come on. I'm going to get stuck in a dumb place like this. right up here. Well, that's where we just were, right? But I saw loot, so... Grab it. Grab it? No? Seriously? Is it there or not? Because it wouldn't let me grab it. Can I grab it? It's right here. Literally sticking out of this guy's ass. Have to be up here? Apparently, I gotta be on it. Okay. It's just one ordinary vial. Maybe there's a way back from here. 13 capsules, I'll take that. It's not too bad. Actually, I could just use the token. Yeah, I mean, that's why they put that token there. Might as well use it instead of wasting time. I do have seven of them at this point, so why not? Alright. Just double check that there's nothing else going on here. Nope. Okay. Off we go to... Back to Luxembourg. Time to talk to the guys in the um, convent, I suppose. we got a lot to tell them. There's about to be a lot of dialogue going on, so... They'll probably take us to the end, because we're at like 40 minutes. Oh boy. I am here. I bear much news about much things. Monsieur Necker. Madame? Eh bien. Do you come bearing good news? Your wife. You may rest easy, monsieur. Your wife escaped the massacre. She returned home and left you this letter. Oh, and you. She's going to meet our daughter and son-in-law at our charity hospital. She may already be there. Madame, I did not dare to dream of such an outcome. My wife and daughter. Can you imagine? And I thought I had lost both of them. The three of us will be able to leave the kingdom and put these horrors behind us forever. What about the bombs? Oh, the bombs. Do with them as you see fit. As long as the king does not use them. As for me, I'm going to find my family at once. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I pray that your efforts will be successful. Adieu, madame. Adieu. Minister Necker has given his bonds to me. That's quite a nice little sum. 
Can you imagine? That's one-fifth of the kingdom's entire wealth. Wealth that the king squanders for his personal benefit according to his whims. Ma foi. Monsieur Necker certainly has been very generous to his adoptive country. Generous? <laughs> I have my doubts. The loan was granted at a very high rate. So high, in fact, that it would have dug the deficit into an even deeper state of abyss. Eh bien, monsieur. To what use shall we employ this boonful fortune? If I could spend it, I'd do everything I could to return to the people their confiscated freedom. To begin, I would get them the bread they so sorely need. It is only after the scourge of famine has been vanquished that armed patriots might then be able to rise up against despotism. And where will you find wheat, Robespierre? Will you steal it from under the noses of the automats who have sworn to destroy the human race? As for arming the people, this is another one of your delusions. How could your ragged pack of wretches win any sort of battle that be unable to lift a sword? When you insult the people, you insult me, Monsieur de Lafayette. I am not insulting anyone, Robespierre. But I happen to know what it takes to fight, unlike you. Monsieur, I was but a lad of 15 when I took up arms. And everyone here knows my role in the liberation of America from British rule. If you allow me to dispose of these bonds, I will found an army that will annihilate the Clockwork King's diabolical machines. As soon as I have the opportunity to leave Paris, I will rally the officers and troops that are stationed in the provinces. Then, I will call for a mass uprising. I will have more than enough money to pay their wages and procure the weapons we need. And you will have obedient troops at your beck and call, ready to repress anyone who challenges your power. These troops will only serve the will of the people. I swear it. Are you sure that the king has spared the rest of the kingdom, Monsieur le Marquis? I am almost certain of it, mon père. Despite all of his resources, the king does not have enough manpower to occupy all the garrisons in the country. Aegis, no member of this assembly can force your hand. The choice is yours. To whom will you entrust Monsieur Neckel's bonds? Oh boy. Um... I should have paid a little more attention there. Who's who again? <laughs> One of them wants to raise an army. Uh, fuck. I don't really trust either of you, if I'm being completely honest. Maximilien de Robespierre, I have chosen to entrust this fortune to you. Very well, madame. I promise that I will use it for one purpose only. Freedom for the people and by the people. When a monarch violates the people's most fundamental rights, insurrection is their most sacred and indispensable duty. But we must be wary of warmongers, who claim to defend our happiness. Bon sang. Am I the only one who is weary of hearing these tiresome monologues? For they wish only to silence us and take their own turn at playing tyrant. Congratulations, Aegis. You've chosen a speechifier as Commander-in-Chief. I am sure the King will be delighted to hear this. He need not fear for his throne now. Crap. I, uh... I kind of regret that. I didn't really. I kind of forgot the names. I, I would have gave it to the other guy. It seemed to more, he had a more uh, effective approach. But whatever. What's done is done. Hopefully it won't affect the outcome too much. Anyway, we got other things to worry about at the moment. Other people to talk to. You, Abbe. Can I help you, Aegis? Yes, you can. What is the significance of these objects steeped in memories? Nimes. I have reread every work that I have on them. Pages that have remained unintelligible to this day. These echoes go back to the beginning of time. To that fateful day in ancient Greece when some dark magician took it into his head to bind a soul to an inanimate object. You see, Aegis, there is nothing more diabolical, nothing more unnatural than this sorcery. The soul is the very essence of the divine. It refuses to submit to such an abomination and resists, eventually breaking. The earliest necromancers whose works have survived through the centuries all describe the same phenomenon. When a soul is fragmented, three shards of memory 
a torn from its consciousness, and takes shelter in three objects that the victim held dear. It's as if these memories wish to remain bound to the mortal who had held them until then. I found this notebook written in Latin. Indeed. Medieval Latin, to be precise. Oh, hold on. Balso. Aegis, what a find. This handwriting. I would recognize it anywhere. It's in Nicholas Flamel's own hand. Give me some time to study this, and I'll tell you what I'm able to glean from it. Have you finished reading the notebook, mon père? Yes, Aegis. And what I learned from it puzzles me. Well, that was quick. In this diary, Flamel tells of three journeys. Three journeys into what he calls the in-between. A strange world filled with wandering souls. Tormented spirits that are unable to ascend to heaven. This world... It's where Cagliostro's victims were trapped until I freed them. Bon effet. I believe you're right. But that's not all. Flamel planned to return there a fourth time. He wrote this in the final paragraph, in his handwriting, dated 21st of March, 1418. That was the day before he died, Aegis. What if his body died while his soul was traveling through limbo? What if he were trapped, a prisoner in this purgatory? Aegis, because of your unique nature, we have an incredible opportunity. What do you mean, mon père? If the soul that animates you has been bound to the automaton that serves as its vessel, then it can be separated from it too. And if this were the case, the soul would travel to purgatory, where Cagliostro entraps the souls of his victims. Hold on. Are you trying to convince me to go and find Nicholas Flamel? I'm offering you a chance to speak to the man who discovered the Philosopher's Stone. Surely you won't pass it up. Assuming I agree to venture into purgatory, do I even have a chance of finding him there? Certainly. According to this journal, the soul flies to the zenith of the place where it left the body of the deceased. Or that of the pilgrim, in this case. If Flamel's soul is trapped in purgatory, as we've guessed, you'll need to go to the house where he drew his dying breath. Is it still standing? Of course. It's on Rue de Montmorency, in the Quartier de l'Hôtel de Ville. You can get there via the cemetery of the Église Saint-Jacques. And how do you plan to free my spirit from this automat? We would simply need to break the bond between them. And to do this, we would need to stop your machinery. For a short time, of course. We don't want to lose you, ma chère. As for the rest, it will be a question of mechanics, chemistry, or electric currents, or something or other. Therein lies the problem. This is far beyond my comprehension. But it is fascinating, isn't it? Perhaps Monsieur Bailly and Monsieur Lavoisier could shed some light on the matter. Goodbye, mon père. Oh my god. <laughs> so he wants us to go to purgatory. Like, literally release our soul. This is getting a little bit out there, I gotta say. Is this DLC? Have I gotta you look. learned more about the bond between no, not yet. Perhaps Smith. I said talk to him for DLC. I gotta look closer at what the DLC is because all it said was talk to this guy here, so I don't know. Oh, I know I've been doing the DLC the whole time. Alright, anyway, we're, we're running out of time. I'm not ready to go venturing into purgatory right now, so... Well, I ask these scientists next time. I think that's it for now. Um, I don't know, that could lead us into a whole other thing, so... For now, we'll call it. I think we'll just hang here. Since I want to start by talking to them. Spend the night. I'm sure they won't mind. Anyway. That's going to be it for now. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Shit's getting pretty interesting. And I don't think any of this is even necessary. I think it's all side stuff. But, uh... Nonetheless, pretty damn cool. Definitely, uh... Where's this Monsieur Raymond guy? Maybe we'll just talk to him. Yeah, we gotta tell him that. We'll do that. It's unrelated to this. Monsieur Raymond. Go on, Aegis. Tell him about that uh, slavery stuff we just discovered. I went to the Hotel de Massiac as agreed. 
What I discovered goes beyond your darkest conjectures. The club's members have no intention of merely depriving their slaves of rest. Rather, with the king's support, they plan to replace them with automat harvesters. The Count of Cagliostro is behind the plan. Ma foi. But such a plan would certainly only improve the lot of these unfortunate people. You are mistaken, mon père. If the planters get their way, they will have a greater need of slaves than ever. Only this time, they intend to slaughter them to power their machines. Quel abomination! Partout les saints. Four days ago, the Paris Guard captured a hundred black people. They were to be sacrificed as part of an experiment to test the effectiveness of the automat harvesters. Luckily, I was able to prevent the massacre. Where are they now? In a place they call the Depot des Noirs. I don't know where it is, but I managed to get the key. It bears the inscription, Tor du Diable. The Devil's Tower is a prison in Vincennes, within the Chateau walls. That's three leagues from here. We'll only be able to free the prisoners once we're able to move freely ourselves. At least they were spared the fate that the King and his accomplices had planned for them. And what will you do with the two servants you employ, Monsieur Raymond? I will continue to treat them well, as I always have. However, under the laws you insist on following, they will become slaves again the moment they leave the kingdom for Saint-Domingue. Certainly not, Monsieur de Robespierre. What kind of a man would I be if what I have heard had not opened my eyes? The planters of Massiac have been proven to be nothing but avaricious murderers. I thought I was dealing with opposition, but now I discover them to be vile enemies, from whom it would be vain to expect any compromise. From this day on, I will fight against their interests with all my strength, and will not lay down my arms until the last slave in the Empire has been freed. Rest assured, then, that the people will fight by your side, Monsieur Raymond. That's the spirit, my friends. Vive l'égalité! All right. Got another key, another side quest, another main quest, maybe. Anyway, yeah, so I didn't see that. Uh, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Like, wouldn't that be good if, for his cause anyway, if they're replacing the slaves with automats? But apparently they want to slaughter all the slaves to power the automats. So yeah, that would not be good. Uh, in any case, we're going to end here. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And yeah, next time we will see uh, what the future holds in store for us. All right, peace.